Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about some different HTML tags we can use inside an HTML file. So in the last episode, we did in fact use a div tag and we used a p tag and then we wrote some text inside of it. Now, we're going to go ahead and clean out everything we did from the last episode because that was essentially just kind of a example to show you guys what you could do inside a body tag, which we have over here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and clean this out. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one line we had. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go into my style sheet and delete everything in here because this also belongs to the example from the last episode, which I did mention we were not going to use for the actual page we're going to create. So now that we're back inside our HTML file, what we're going to talk about here is tags. And when I say tags, of course, you know, you have like a P tag, you have an A tag, um, you got div tags, that kind of thing. But we also have something that's relatively new inside HTML5, uh, which is tags such as header, section, footer, H group, you know, that kind of thing. And these tags are new and are created because they tell the browser what kind of content we're dealing with. Now, to give you guys an example, if you go to any kind of website, you'll notice that the website is split up into different areas or like different sections. If you go to a front page, you'll maybe notice that you have a, uh, like you have the top part of the website which usually repeats at least on regular, if I can call them that, regular websites. Um, you usually have a top part that repeats on every single page with a navigation, with a logo, with a title, that kind of thing that repeats. And these are, you, you know, typically the stuff that goes inside a header tag. Now the actual content of each page, which might change, goes inside something called a section tag. So to kind of actually do something with this, we're going to go ahead and write out these tags at, right now. So the first one we're going to write out is the one called header, which is written like this. You just simply write header and make sure you open the code with it and you close the code with it. Anything that goes in between here is going to be part of the header tag. Now, don't confuse the header tag that we have here with the head tag, which is something different. Now, the header tag is an actual physical part of the website that we're creating with content in it, you know, stuff you can actually see on a website. And the head tag is, you know, other kind of information such as like the stuff we included in a couple of episodes ago, like the type of um, characters we're using on the website, such as the title of the website and you know linking to different kind of documents such as a style sheet so it works a little bit differently so other than a head tag we also have something called a nav tag which is used for navigation or what you might call a menu and a rule of thumb is that everything that goes inside the header tags is the stuff that gets repeated on every single page now when i think about it a typical website usually have a navigation at the very top somewhere that gets repeated on every single website at the very top, meaning that we want our net tag to go inside our header. Now, of course, it doesn't have to, but that's just, you know, the typical way to do it. And you can, you know, rearrange these as much as you want. But this is the typical way that I have seen, you know, most websites do it. So inside here, we have a net tag. And of course, you need to open it and you need to close the code. And then you can write menus in here which we haven't done yet, but we'll do that in a couple of episodes from now. Underneath our header tag, we will then actually begin adding in the physical content, like the, the unique content of this specific page, which is going to go inside something called a section. Like I said, the section is going to be the main content and it can have a lot of different things in it. To give an example, let's say we have a section tag and we want some kind of content in here. Now, you could essentially just create the content, which we will learn in a couple of episodes from now again. Um, but you can also divide the content into different articles. Now, you might be thinking, you know, when I mention articles, people could think about a newspaper article, but that's not really the way you need to think about it. Um, an article is essentially where you group similar information together. And if you see, for example, a section on your front page or like on any kind of front page that might have the latest news. Then you have a section underneath it that has links to the most popular post on the site. And then underneath that, you might have some, uh, some kind of slideshow going on with some stuff on it. Now, each of these are an article inside the big section we have on the website. So the way we're going to create this is just an, as an example, uh, we can create a article inside our section here by simply writing out 
article, making sure it has the opening and closing tags. And inside the article, we can then start adding content to this specific area of our section. So inside an article, we could, for example, have a header, such as the one we have up here. Now, because the header tag is inside an article, the browser will know that this is the header of the specific article and not the actual header that we have at the very top because it's not inside these tags. So what we could do here is inside the header, we could actually start adding some head tags. We could actually add a, let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit so we can see. We could actually start adding a h1 tag, which is a header one, which is the most important header on the website because it's an h1. And a one means that it's very important. And then we can say, this is a header. So this essentially says that we have a header tag inside an article and it's inside the header of the article. Now underneath here, we could then go ahead and go under the header, the closing of the header inside the article. And we could essentially create a paragraph with some text in here, which could be the text of the article. Or it could be, you know, images or whatever we want to put in here. I'm just going to put text for now since that's easier to do or quicker. Underneath the actual content of this article, we could also include a footer. And again, just like the header, because the footer is inside an article, it will not see it as the primary footer, which is usually underneath the section that we created here. Now, let's just go ahead and include the footer underneath the section. So we actually have the footer, like so. Now, going back to the article, if we go into our header again, and I want to include a subheader, by going underneath our h1 tag and including a h2 tag. And like I said, the closer to one the number is, the more important it is. And since two is higher than one, it's less important. So this is a subheader, like so. Now, when we do it like this, right now, the browser will see both headers as the primary headers because it sees these as individual headers and these do not go together. So in order to fix that, and you only need to do this if you have more than one header. If you just had the H1, it will be fine just writing it like this. But since I have two headers right underneath each other, what I need to do is include something called an H group, which I can see it does not shortcut for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make it like this. We're gonna create an H group. I need to open the tags before the H tags and close it after the H tags. So now we just group these together and told the browser these are one thing. This is a you know main header because it's H1 and this is a subheader to this H1 because it's inside the H group. Now this is not really, really important. And of course your website is not gonna break if you don't do it this specific way, but it's just you know a matter of writing the code correctly. So this is essentially how you could set up a site, um, you know, creating different sections. And since we have an article inside our section, let's actually create some space so you guys can see the difference. So we have one article here inside our section. And then underneath here, we could essentially include another article. And like I said, this could be a slideshow or something with a header that says, this is a slideshow. And then instead of having, you know, an, a subheader, we could just down here with the content, erase our P tags and just create a slideshow. And we wouldn't even need the footer because it's just a slideshow. So, you know, you can create different articles with each other like this. And if we go ahead and save this and refresh our browser or like actually open up in our browser, we can actually see what we have going on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it in Chrome. And as you guys can see, we have some text going on. Let me just zoom in for you guys so you can actually see it. So up here we have a tag saying this is a header, which is the header of our article one. Then we have this is a subheader and don't uh, don't think too much about the subheader being larger than the main header. Believe me, it is H1. That's the main one. The subheader is H2. So the fact that this one is larger does not mean it's more important. Then we have the content, which is the, the P tag we included. And then down here we have the second article starting with the second subheader and then the second content. Okay, now we could actually include the uh, like, you know, split this off to make it even more obvious by actually styling these. So if we actually styled the article and, give, and gave it a background of green, we could actually see that this entire section I just highlighted would actually have a green background. 
And then if we style the bottom one to have a purple background, it would actually have a purple background. So that way you could actually essentially test by yourself to see that this is in fact two different things. So this was just a little bit of a preach about, you know, how to set up different sections just to, to kind of, you know, we're not going to be using this. I, I just gave this as an example. We will be using the header with the nav tags. We will be using the section. Uh, at some point, we will also be using the articles and the headers and all that stuff. But the way I put it up right now was just to kind of show you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these articles. So we only have the section. So we want to also keep the footer, the section, the header, and the nav tags inside the header. So this is essentially how you split up the content of the actual page. And in the next episode, we'll actually start talking about how to create these headers um, and we will actually be including just a little bit of uh, well i will show you guys a little bit of php which is very little php but it will help phenomenally and i know this is an html tutorial series and you can choose to ignore what we're going to do alongside the rest of the stuff in the next episode you know the, the little small php part we're going to do you can choose to ignore it but i promise you it will be very helpful in the future Okay, so let's go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.